Hi everyone, welcome to Bonsai Expression. Today I wanted to show you my cherry that I took. Well, I took it as a cutting, but a root cutting. So I had these big cherry trees and I, uh, I lobbed the roots off doing a root prune and I took a cutting from it and I just put it in some soil and I thought, does it take root cuttings? And the answer, yeah, they do. So as you can see, that's where I lobbed it off. So my tree was here and I just took the root cutting off and then planted it and um, ta-da, they grow. So this is a proper cherry, not like a Kojo Mai or anything like that. This is a big cherry tree and um, yeah, they grow from root cuttings, surprisingly. So anyway, I thought I'd show you this and um, I've had it a few years now, like quite a few years now. And um, it's only in a little pot and it struggled and struggled and it survived. So all I'd like to do today is just, uh, as you can see, it's only growing on one side because most of it's dead. All, all the front of it died off, all the wood. So it's got one main line of vein at the back. Um, I don't really have anything at the front. So I'd just like to put a bit of wire on this just to change it and give it some depth. Um, bringing this one out here. And then possibly moving these around. So I just want to show, just do that. I thought I'd make a video on it. Maybe get a bonsai. It's not going to be the greatest, but it's going to be a cool video. So let's do it. <laughs> so this is my cherry. And as I say, most of the trees died back. Um, the tree was here. This is where I lobbed it. And um, you can see just all oh, this is dead wood. So I could potentially carve this in the future. So all this is dead, a little bit of live wood here, and this is the main vein. It comes up at the back, you can see it's got a bit of swelling, and then I've got this one branch here, and this one branch here that comes up. So it, there's not really much to it, so I, I could potentially carve this in the future and get it. So I would like today, so this is the main branch as I say, the main trunk as it is, and then I've got this one here, and it is just... This wants to be a back branch just here and but it's coming from in the middle so I need to just put a bit of wire on it twist this branch round so that this rather than coming from the inside now comes like that and I just position it in the right place and then we can maybe just spread these out a little bit giving it some shape I thought that's what we would do today and set it on its way to become a little bonsai and then possibly trim it up a little bit I don't know see what happens I thought I'd make a little video on it because why not that's what the channel's all about uh, I'm just gonna try and wire this branch up a little bit um, I'm probably don't want to wire it around that yeah although I just hook it on around the base of the tree Get around the base of the tree. And the wiring itself doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just giving it literally a little bit of movement. I'm just trying to twist it and move it into the right position. Oh, this wire is pretty thick and I haven't got anything thinner. Well, I've got thinner, but I haven't got anything that's the right um, gauge to actually move the branch. I've got thinner, but too thin. Well, there we go. That's all I need. I just needed to move it. So where it was going up, it's now on this side, and it's just put it in position. So that's all I needed, just to twist the branch into the right position, just like that. There we go. So it's just moved the tree, tree branch, 
So I'm, I'll just show you. So the branch itself was going vertical like that. And now we just moved it from vertical and we just twisted it just into the right position. So, lovely. Which means this branch is now going upwards. And then we've got this one that now goes to the side. So if I just bring the rest of the branch down a little bit. There we go. Happy with that. And I'm just going to give it a little trim. I'm going to use directional pruning. I just want to make sure you're in sight. Let's move you up a little bit. So I'm going to use directional pruning on the leaf. So this leaf here is going to the right. So I'm just going to cut there. So that will grow this way now. And then this one is growing upwards nicely. But I'm just going to trim it back to this one here. So it grows outwards. And then turn it round which is now the back branch I would like to trim it to a leaf that is on the bottom so it grows downwards which would be probably just here there we go it neatens that side up a hell of a lot better than it was okay I'm liking that. And in terms of this side, I've got an ingrowing branch just here. I just need to take that out. Just that one there. Just snip it off. This one, I want to snip directional pruning again. So this leaf, hopefully it'll grow to the right, filling in this section here. I'm using clip and grow as you can tell. I really like clip and grow at the moment. Prefer it over than the old air wire. Try and use wire as minimum as possible. This bottom branch, I'm just gonna again snip to the branch here, grow it to the left. I've got this one here. Just gonna snip to this branch and then the back branch, I'm just going to let grow out. What I'm going to do is come back and neaten up that stub. And there we go. Let's give you a little spin. I would say we do need something developing at the back here. That's now our back branch, but we do need something here. Maybe because we've just trimmed these branches. In fact, the, the, this branch, I'm just going to snip here. I'm going to bring it down a little. Now, because we've trimmed, hopefully we can develop some of these buds slower down. But there we go. Got ourselves a nice little cherry. Pre-bonsai. Uh, I'd like to do some carving on this later down the line. maybe trimming this one back a little bit further just just to this branch here help develop push something this way that's better there we go I'm happy with that it's my little cherry from a root cutting I'm pretty stoked with that it's pretty cool anyway if you didn't know you can get cherries from root cuttings give it a go if you've got one next time you're doing your little uh, your little repot <laughs> so if you like this one please do give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you've not done and um, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one see you guys i'm off <laughs> cherry from root cuttings bye everyone